Hello and welcome to HISD News. I'm Colleen Allen. HISD students will begin taking the STAR exam during the week of April 1st. This is the second year for the new statewide assessment that replaced tax. Schools across the district are reminding students and parents about the exam in various creative ways. Over at Austin High School, the hallways are decorated with posters, bulletin boards, and displays with various themes like Godzilla and Hollywood. All have one thing in common, however. They remind students about the importance of the exam and why they need to do well. Teachers and students collaborated together to come up with these themes in the hopes that students would feel more excited about the upcoming exam. We broke the hallways into teams of teachers and staff, and then we just said, go for it. And this is what came out. Austin and other high school campuses have also been holding STAR tutorials during lunch, after school, and on the weekends for students. During the week of April 1st, high school freshmen and sophomores will take the reading and writing end of course exams. Fourth and seventh graders will take the writing portion of STAR, while students in the fifth and eighth grades will take reading and mathematics. For more information, go to starwatcher.org. That's S-T-A-A-R. HISD is taking part in an innovative pilot program designed to help our teachers be more effective in the classroom. Sarah Osborne has more on the initiative, which pairs teachers with a best-selling author and charter school founder. Show me. Fingers. Show me. He may be the author of the best-selling book, Teach Like a Champion, but Doug Lamov is learning a thing or two from HISD teachers. I love learning from teachers and hearing about the solutions that they've come up with and understanding what the challenges are. Lamov and his group, Uncommon Schools, has partnered with HISD for a pilot program that implements the techniques from his book into the classrooms at seven HISD middle schools. It's good to have him here and, and have him right there and that he can, you know, give us any input, um, something that we may not have thought about because after all, he is the author. During a recent visit to Edison Middle School, teacher Michael Leroy and his colleagues were able to share their insights with Lamov and even offer him suggestions. I just really feeling a sense of excitement that, uh, that the tools were useful to teachers and they did great things with them and that they felt the difference in their classrooms and their school and that makes us really optimistic. This is the second year of the pilot program. Year one included mainly techniques for classroom management. This year, the focus has been on increasing academic rigor. Incorporating opportunities for teachers to practice together, I think is the most important piece of why our pilot has been so successful, um, is that it's not just let's kind of research and talk about the techniques, but let's really get in there and practice them before we go live in front of the kids. It's something that will definitely change the climate of your school, and it can only do it in a, in a better way, in a positive way. Next year, HISD hopes to expand the program to more campuses and offer district-wide teacher workshops. The continued opportunity to work with HISD excites Lamov because of the insight it offers into a large urban school district. The more we can learn about making a difference in those schools and for those students' lives and helping all, t all teachers be better at the, at the job that they do, uh, then we're happy. So, so it's, a, it's a great opportunity for us. HISD is always looking for ways to encourage students and staff to lead healthier lives. And this week, the district was recognized for its efforts. HISD was named one of Houston's healthiest employers by the Houston Business Journal at a luncheon held at the Hilton Post Oak on March 26. This is the second year for the award, which honors companies for their efforts to improve employee wellness. They do a number of different things on your health and wellness programs. This year we implemented our employee incentive program, which gave back employees about $2.2 million for doing health screenings, health risk assessments, as well as doing additional engagements in their health. HISD ranked fourth in the large employer category. The district also had the biggest improvement, gaining over 19 points to our score from last year. Students at Chavez High School have been revving up their math and science skills with an after-school project that can travel at a speed close to 180 miles per hour. For the past six weeks, a group of Chavez students and their teacher, Gregory Ditch, have dedicated their afternoons and even their weekends to transforming an everyday car into a professional race car. On March 23rd, the students traveled to Beeville, Texas to watch NASCAR driver Donnie Neuenberger test drive their vehicle during the Texas Mile competition. The team was ecstatic to see their car hit a speed of 175 miles per hour. 
but more importantly, they were thrilled to be part of a project that allowed them to apply their math and science skills to a real world application. I think the most fun thing was being able to be hands on with an actual vehicle and not have to sit back in a class and just learn about it. Actually being able to get my hands all greasy and dirty. One of the goals at a school is to engage kids in the learning and what better way than to get them to work with tools. The project was made possible thanks to the generosity of local businesses who donated money, tools, and supplies. The response was so positive the school hopes to offer it to Chava students every year. Students at one HISD elementary school are learning more about their city and their cultural heritage through the lens of a camera. For the past year, nearly two dozen students at Love Elementary have been taking pictures around their school and the city. The nearly 65 photos are now hanging in the halls of the school as part of an exhibit called In the Eyes of Our Children, Houston, an American City. The exhibit is part of the Pozos Art Project, which was developed by photographer and Rice University professor Jeff Winningham. Winningham works with the students to teach them the basics of photography and allows them to work in the Rice Lab to learn about editing and printing their work. Our goal over the coming years is to enable you know, a stream of kids that go through Love Elementary to make a uh, composite collective portrait of the city of Houston and their life in it. I think it's really good for their self-esteem. I think it their faces just light up when they see him and they, they feel special, they feel uh, excited to go out and explore things and things they, places they haven't gone before. The exhibit will be on display at Love for the next month. It's open to the public and everyone is encouraged to stop by and check out the amazing still images. A reminder for students and parents interested in attending Magnet School for the 2013-2014 school year. Students who are accepted must indicate which school they will be attending and return the student agreement no later than Friday, April 5th. Time now for the HISD Fast Fact of the Week, and it relates to magnet schools. Do you know which high schools get the most applications for their magnet programs? They are Lamar, Bel Air, and DeBakey High School. That's it for this edition of HISD News. Please be sure to stay connected with the district every day by following us on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. I'm Colleen Allen. I'll see you next time.